Rodney, we're back to winning ways and back to scoring goals. Nine goals in our last two games. What's been the secret to two strong performances and kind of pulling ourselves out of that rut that we were in? I think the boys have went into it with a little bit of belief, obviously. We get off to a good start, didn't you, Ray? Um, after seven minutes, when have you scored? It's been a long time since we've taken a lead in a game. Um, so to take the lead after seven minutes probably gives them a little bit of a lift, gives them a wee bit of a boost. Um, then obviously to follow it up with a great strike from Jay and go in 2-0 at half time has, has lifted the spirits immediately. Um, listen, there might be a little bit of luck comes along the way with that also, um, but I thought that in the early match we, we started the game very well. We started in the front foot and we asked plenty of questions right from the off. And um, Obviously then the, the second half it becomes a little bit more nervy than what we wanted whenever Paddy gets himself sent off. We can see the poor goal and then Paddy gets himself sent off um, and we finish the game with 10 men but I thought whenever we, even whenever we had 10 men I thought we, we managed the game very well and we saw the game out relatively easy. Crusaders in our fourth in the league, fresh from a 2-0 win over Linfield, the big Cliftonville 3-0 on Boxing Day, but they also conceded four at Glenavon. Do you think you learn more about watching them in the games that they've won or the games they've lost? Yeah, I think you'd learn something about everybody in every game that you that you watch. Um, it's going to be an extremely difficult match. I know the last game, whenever we went to Seaview, it finishes 3-2 to, to Crusaders. And, and it was a game that whenever we got back to two each, it looked as if we might be the team that went on and and, and win it, um, or won it, sorry. Um, but we conceded we conceded poor enough goals that day. We need to make sure that we're not conceding poor goals against top sides as well, because obviously in, in the bigger games it becomes more difficult to score ourselves. So we have to make sure we be, we go into the game, we're compact, we're tight, we're, we, we'd be hard to score against and, and give ourselves that opportunity where we can go and hurt them on the, on the flip side. We've seen Alan again come into the squad earlier this month. He's obviously hit the ground running, but um, you can see being around this squad as well. They all get on sort of as a, a group of mates. How much consideration do you give to that dynamic whenever you're bringing somebody in versus their ability on the pitch? I think it's very important to have a look at the player's character, the player's personality. Um, try and find out as much as you can about the lad or about the player before you bring him on board. Um, I certainly knew Niall, well, I've known him a lifetime, so I knew what sort of character that would be coming to Glentorn and, and I knew that he would settle in very, very quickly and, and be part of the squad very, very quickly. And Thankfully, it's a good bunch of boys. There's, there's never been a problem here with the, with the players. There's never really been any fallouts. Um, so it's a, it's a case of trying to build in that, trying to build team morale, trying to build team spirit with what we have. And it's good to get them in their own company as often as possible so that they, that they learn to speak to each other and get to know each other. And I always think you can tell when Sky Sports are in town as soon as you come through the turnstiles there's that extra bit of buzz in the air. As a team, is that something that you're aware of? Is that talked about in the lead up to the game? You know, will everybody in that dressing room be aware of it? I'm, su I'm, sure I'm sure it's a case from a player's point of view that it's an opportunity for them to go out and express themselves and I'm sure players think like that as well. Obviously uh, players will talk to each other and, and communicate about the, the chance of playing on Sky Sports. It's going to go out till, till the world is such everybody's going to be able to tune in and watch. So listen, it's, it's an opportunity for players that, that are involved to go out and showcase their abilities, showcase their talent. and. Uh, and hopefully we can do it to the best of our ability and I know if we can do it to the best of our ability then we can put on a spectacle and we can be a, we can be a good team to watch so hopefully come Monday night we're, we're that team that everybody wants to tune in and watch.